Okay. This is called the Trizonal Space Warper. It was invented by Jerry Andrews. And if you zoom in on that, you keep staring right at the center for about 30 seconds. Spin it one more time. Just keep staring right at the center for about 30 seconds. And when you look away, you'll get a very powerful visual after effect, almost like a hallucination. So when you look away, it looks like everything is boiling. Yeah. yeah. Lasted for a few seconds there. Yeah. 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 The other illusion is the You stand across from it a little bit. A little, stand a little bit further back so you can see the front of it. And that should look like two silver bolts or nuts. And I have a straight bar here. Straight rod looks like it's bent. So what actually happens is you're looking at the inside of these things. But your mind reverses them so that it looks like the outside of two nuts or bolts. And so it looks like this bar goes through at a possible angle. Okay. When I when I turn it, it looks like the object actually bends and falls in half. And what actually happens is part of this thing is built inside out, so it's not really bending at all. From this side, it's inside out. So when it gets here, it looks like the object bends. and sort of move back and forth, it looks like this thing rotates. So it should look like three cubes and hollow in the middle. And actually, it's three hollows with the cube in the center. Oh, that's awesome. The thing reverses itself. And I, it's best if I... If you have no shadows on this, okay. But this is the. Can you get? Can you get that in the shot with no shadows on it? You can see shadows underneath, but that's it. Yeah. yeah. So now does does it look like this object bends? Yeah. Yeah. I call that the bending X illusion. What else you got? That's awesome. Oh, the Pandora box. Yeah, this is the paradox box. Oh, paradox box. And it's a negative box. So if you if you move the camera back and forth, like if you if you walk to the left, then that box will turn and follow you. Oh yeah. But what actually happens is you're you're just seeing the inside of this thing. So it's a hollow box, but your mind, since it knows since it knows how the three-dimensional world works. It's much more likely for a box to be convex than concave, so your mind flips the image and it looks like the outside of the box. So neat. How about the stairs? What's the stairs one? Um, it's tough to get that at the right angle. Oh, okay. But if you can, if you can see it, it's you got to stand up and look down on it. Like okay. That. And then if you move left and right, that whole staircase looks like it's rotating on an axis. Okay, cool. This truck too. It look like this part will look like the outside of the, of the truck. And when I turn it, it should look like that truck is bending. 
Huh. Turn it. But what, actually, what you're actually seeing is the inside out part of the Oh. Chair. Awesome. So this is Jerry Anders right here. Hey, yeah. Jerry, how you doing? So, um, are you a, how is it that you got involved in this project or? Uh, I'm just a graphic arts student and I like to make optical illusions. That's my ah. hobby, so. I asked them if they had a Jerry Andrews tribute with his illusions, and I've just volunteered to bring my stuff. Oh, fantastic. So you've known about Jerry Andrews long, a while back. Did you actually yeah. meet him at one I of the events? I did not get the opportunity to meet him, no. Oh. If you had met him, what would you want to know? What would you want to ask him? Oh, uh, he's a, he was a magician, and when he died, I'm sure a lot of secrets died with him. I would have loved to talk to him about his magic and about his illusions especially. The really cool thing about Jerry is he would love to have talked to you. That was the neat thing about it. He just loved talking to people. Yeah. He loved people. And he would love to see somebody young to come in and say, you know, because he was always worried that, you know, his things would kind of die after him. You know what I mean? And to have this, to have somebody that has a passion for his tricks is just really awesome. I'm so glad that um, Randy's chosen to keep a table, always going to, as a tribute to him. I think it's just, a, it's just fantastic. So good job, Jerry.